He wrote a book that sold three million copies and was made into a Hollywood blockbuster. And now he's in St Kilda. Greg Berendt. Thank you. Hello. I went to see a concert the other night back where I live in the States. As I approached the venue, the security guard wanted my attention, so he goes like this. He goes, excuse me, friend. Excuse me, friend. Hey, friend! <laughs> Weird use of the word friend. Virtually no friend vibe at all. Like I had a hard time imagining a friendship blossoming from this encounter. <laughs> he goes, excuse me, friend. I'm going to have to take that chain wallet from you. I'm going to have to nix the chain wallet and your bracelet. And I was like, why? Because of the wars? Terrorism? Upgrades to security? That sort of thing? He goes, no. I go, why? He goes, because you're 40. <laughs> that's not, no, that's not funny. That's not nice. And I'm 46. <laughs> yeah, I use an eye cream. And, um, <laughs> I had this moment and I started thinking, fuck, am I getting too old to rock? Like, can you be too old to rock? Is that possible? Can you be too old to rock, do you think? Yes. What do you think? No? You're nice people and you're all full of shit. Listen to me. <laughs> Let's do an experiment. Be 18 for a minute. Be 18 in your head. Now, go to a concert. You're 18, you're rocking out, you're at a concert, you're having a good time, the band's on, you're getting loaded. Woohoo! Look around. Uh oh, who's that? Creepy old guy. <laughs> yeah, now you remember me. Creepy. Old, rocking solo, came by himself. Getting old's a bitch, man, and there's a lot of young dudes here tonight, and I know you're looking at me like, I ain't going out like that, bro. <laughs> Uh-oh, yes, motherfucker, you are, so listen to me tonight. Hear me. <laughs> listen to me with your tight skin and your judgment, because... <laughs> yeah. It's not like you think it's gonna be. You think you have time, you do not. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like one day you're a vital dude with plans and information, boom, next day you're an old man. Old man, you got a brand new vocabulary, new words you're using, ointment. Not as a joke, as a fact. <laughs> Why'd you say ointment, Greg? Well, because I needed one. How come? Because I was sore. What were you sore from? Check it out. Fucking sleeping wrong. <laughs> sleeping wrong! That's real! It's fucking real! That's a real thing! My dad used to say that all the time. He'd be like, I slept wrong. I'd be like, how did you fuck that up? You just lay down. <laughs> how do you fuck up sleeping? You just lay down. And I would mock him, you know? <laughs> My brain's starting to fall apart. I'm starting to do this thing where, you know like when you want to say something, like you know what you're going to say, like you pick the words out, and then you go to say the words, and different words come out of your mouth. <laughs> so I'm in a restaurant the other night, I'm going to have a chicken sandwich. Not even a sentence, just two words, bro. Chicken sandwich. Not only do I know that I'm going to have a chicken sandwich, I've had them before, but I've said the words for a lifetime separately and together, and I've read them on the menu. So, ostensibly, I've rehearsed. <laughs> so the waitress comes over and she says, what would you like to have to today, sir? What would you like to have today, sir? And with a great amount of confidence, I tell her that I'd like to have a chicken situation. A chicken, I'm baffled, she's baffled, we're just staring at each other. She's hot, I'm old! My name's Craig Barron, thank you all very much. Have a good night. He'll go straight to your thighs and won't even ask permission. The icing on the cake, Josh Earl. I'm here to talk about one thing only, and that is the greatest book that's ever been published in this country. I'm, of course, talking about the Australian Women's Weekly Children's Birthday Cake Book. Do you remember this book, people? Yes. Of course you do. And this song is about the greatest cake in that book. It goes like this. This story takes place when I was 10 years old. Yeah, Mum passed me the book and I was told she could make any cake I choose and to take my time and have a peruse but call her ADD or just my age. But I didn't get past the very front page. I chose the train cake. I chose the train cake. Woo-hoo! Choo-choo. 
I'd chosen the train and then mum had to explain Making that cake was gonna hurt her brain But that's the one I chose, so that's the one she'd make That's right, mother liquors, I'm getting that cake I told all my friends at school, yeah This was even cooler than the swimming pool Take that, Nick Bart, and your Reebok pumps So mum went about getting all the bits and pieces She got biscuits and popcorn and even pipe cleaners But the night before the party, yeah, disaster struck Cos mum bent down but couldn't bend back up My cake could not be made My train had been delayed She'd done her back in I heard it cracking She'd done her back in I heard it cracking And then dad came in from the lounge room He's like, what's all the noise in here? What's all the noise? I'm trying to watch Knots Land and can't hear a bloody thing they're saying Stop crying! Stop your crying! You're talking to me, by the way, not Mum. Use your words, Josh. Josh, use your words. What's wrong? Your cake cut? I'll make your cake then. Of course I can make a cake. Piece of cake. Where do you think that saying comes from? <laughs> no, I don't need the recipe book. Put that away. I don't need that. That's a train cake, is it? Well, I know what a train looks like. Yeah, cake, train, train cake. Done. Now get to bed. It's a school night. Get to bed. So next morning I awoke but mum was still bedridden So I went looking for my cake but it must have been hidden And dad came in the kitchen said you're gonna be late You better get to school and stop looking for your cake So I went to school in anticipation Couldn't wait to see my dad's creation, yeah Yes, I'm still getting the train cake, Nick It's got ten carriages, it's awesome I've seen it No, I don't want to watch you pump your shoes up Big deal, you're gonna be fat tongue Mine does that when I eat coconut No, I'm not gonna be Lamington's the party Just shut up, alright? And it's a long day at school when it's your birthday, but then the bell went. And we all went back to my house for party time. I could hear my trainer coming, it was rolling around the bend, and with my eyes I saw surprise on the faces of my friends. I turned around and I was amazed by what I saw, because there was no train coming through the door. It was like a bad, bad dream. Dad was just holding a sponge with cream. He'd bought a store-bought cake, store-bought cake. He bought a store-bought cake, store-bought cake. He bought a cake from the store, yeah, it was an eyesore. He bought a store-bought cake, store-bought cake. What do you call this, Dad? What, you know what I call it? I call this the worst birthday ever. You're not even my real dad. <laughs> All right, you are my real dad. I'll take that back, I'm sorry. No, I'm allowed to be angry, Dad. I'm allowed to be angry. My teacher said it's just part of my coat of many colours. Shut up, this is the worst birthday ever! Cheers, good night. <laughs>